Imagine giving birth to a beautiful baby only to discover that child has a devastating disease and will have to fight every day to stay alive. Tonight, great news. KPIX 5's Julia Goodrich has an exclusive look at a life changing gene therapy that's giving these kids a new chance at life. I'm outside UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital, and inside, doctors performed six brain surgeries on children ages five to nine, and the results are astounding. Inside this specially designed operating room, oh, that'd be great. a landmark clinical trial unfolded. Here, a small number of families took a giant leap of faith. So we are really lucky to have this, and we have to take the chance. The chance to help their kids. I was wondering, you know, it is this is something can do for my daughter. To be able to provide her with what she what she wants or what she needs. In each family, a child born with a defective gene that causes a rare disorder. It's called AADC deficiency. They're unable to make an enzyme that creates critical neurotransmitters in the brain, leaving them locked in their bodies. They cannot walk, they cannot talk, they cannot feed themselves and as a result, they require lifelong care. The children have no muscle tone. If you pick him up, it feels like you're picking up a pile of jello. Catching a cold can kill them. She was checked in the hospital almost every single month. They suffer painful, involuntary movements that can last for hours. It's heartbreaking it is to see the children. And they barely sleep. 20 minutes to two hours, that's all. But now there's an experimental therapy. We just feel like we are very fortunate. They really Pioneering this. Dr. Christoph Begovich developed a way to replace the bad gene by delivering millions of healthy copies deep into the child's brain. Bingo. These good genes are tucked inside a disabled virus. So like a Trojan horse. The virus slips into the brain cells delivering the good stuff. Dr. Nalan Gupta is a pediatric neurosurgeon. We have to be very clever to be able to do it in a way that doesn't damage other cells. Using a sophisticated MRI and special software, Dr. Gupta watches as he navigates a fine hollow needle through a small hole in the skull to the right spot in the brain. Then we actually infuse a solution which contains the virus and the corrected gene. As to the benefit, take a look and listen. Here's Selena from New York with her mother Kylie. Alex from Pennsylvania with his parents James and Ashley and little sister Claire. Oh, and Audrey with her parents, Albert and Carrie. They live in the Bay Area. Good job! All the children can now sit up on their own and lift their heads. Their painful attacks have disappeared, and they all sleep better. It was a great surprise. Alex now interacts with his family. A very sweet and a happy go. Selena understands both Mandarin and English. For the first time she can go to school, we asked her if she liked it. Mm -hmm. Selena was the first to get out of her wheelchair and try to walk. What? Audrey is also determined to go places. She recently tried out a walker. She's swimming, holding her head above the water, and kicking. And for the very first time, Audrey's eating by mouth and can safely swallow. We've been amazed by the technology. The scientists are grateful for the families. The <laughs> families are grateful their kids have a new chance at life. A new start. It's a new life. He's really, really happy. And what I'm hoping for is we get other leaps in the future. UCSF is now continuing the trial with the blessing of the FDA. In San Francisco, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5. Now, this treatment could set the Stanford in standard in treating other neurological diseases caused by this bad gene. Yeah, it's been used in patients with Parkinson's disease and shows some pretty long-lasting benefits.